for the jump, jump. Tell the hater we do what we want, huh? I just keep on running like I'm gum, blah. Back up in this homie, get it blocked, huh? Yo, I'ma need you all to jump, jump. Tell the hater we do what we want, huh? I just keep on running like I'm Hey, everybody. Blah. Welcome to Unsung Talent. I'm here with rapper yeah. Craig Lynch. Yeah. Jersey represent. Here from Jersey. Tell me, Craig, so what's going on? Uh, coming off a big year, solid year. Craig Lynch everywhere, CraigLynchRaps.com. Look out for it. Coming off a solid year. Chrissy, uh, I appreciate you guys having me. Yeah, of unsung course. Unsung talent, unsung heroes, all that. You know, I'm here. Uh, just yeah, look so at the you... name. I got a little name, so just just look it up. You and know? you have you you have all this merch coming out. Yeah, yeah. We got the merch, we got the lighters, we got everything that you need. Everything that the the a human uses throughout the day is gonna have the Craig Lynch tag on it, the Rap Lines Matter tag on it, you know, got the company. That's awesome. So it's gonna be good. You got it. You're making moves, making it's moves. Jer you know what? I am so happy that on this show we've highlighted so much Jersey and East Coast talent. Um, I, it's an honor to have you all here and Thank representing you. just the underground, underground artists and rappers. That's what it's about. You it's know, about networking. This is the yeah. type. Of, this is the type of stuff that I do. You know. So. so tell me, how did you get started with rapping and, and lyricism? Uh, it started when I was young, man. Uh, rest in peace, Big Mo. Uh, that's the big cuz. Uh, basically was rapping and I started doing it and he's like yo you could do it I'm gonna stop because you're nice you know you're real nice with it so <laughs> it started at a young age I was like 11 years old and I've been doing this for 20 plus years wow so what you know inspires what you to keep going uh you know I just lost my pops two years ago uh pancreatic cancer Sorry um yeah that was, was my DJ you know at my shows so mm. it was a different it was a different type of loss uh you know he him, him passing. I just had a daughter, you know what I'm saying? Sadie Nicole Lynch, four months old. Uh, you know what I mean? That's motivation. So your kid, you know your I mean? family, family's family. motivated. Yeah. Family always motivates. My huh? album, The Man of the House, pretty much explains that, you know what I'm saying? So And your family, how how does your girl and your and your family support you with this? Because I oh, know yeah. being a rapper is not always easy. It's not always an easy path. Oh yeah, no. I mean, of course, my girlfriend's front row to shows. You know, I kind of met her through the show, the show grind at a show. Oh really? That's her, like, so cute. <laughs> you know, through a friend at a show. So I mean, you know, That's went cool. to a show with her. Um, so she's already front row with it. Uh, my mom, everybody supports. You know, the merch cut. Mm -hmm. The merch comes from in the house. You know, mm -hmm. from my family. So that seems to be thing. the adaptive way. I've noticed that a lot of artists are bringing out their own merch and yeah. being these entrepreneurs. Tell me about That's that, because it's, it's so cool that you guys go from being these creative individuals, lyricism, to now putting it on clothing. Yeah, you know, it's, it's all about selling yourself, you know. You, You're right, you the, market the yourself. The average person looks at me like, yeah, he can't really rap. He don't rap. But like when it, once I open my mouth, it's a different thing. So you don't want to judge nobody by its character, but you got to do your best by selling yourself. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's the toughest part about it, you know. Absolutely. But it's the funnest part about it, though. You know what, what I mean? So, so that's why we put the merchandise out. You make them represent you. Right. You know? Right. Just that you can you leave it you leave them where they have no choice but to you know to bang with you you know mess with you. Right on, right on. So when you're picking up that pen to write your lyrics, what is going through your mind? Uh. Is it a bunch of different things like? What, I just want to say something that means you? something. You know, I want to say have substance. Mm -hmm. I gotta say something that means something in every line. I don't really like to have no filler. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why I represent the company Rap Lines Matter. You know, we're gonna have the website up soon. Right. Um, but that's what it's about. Rap Lines Matter. Like every single line. You know, you gotta have a hit. Have a hit. Have it has some substance and meaning. You know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when I go into it, that's what I do. And I, I get people intrigued right away. Just how I come on to it. Right. Right, you just that you want to inspire people. Yeah. And that's what I'm hearing a lot from a lot of local artists is that they want to inspire people. They're not just they're not just in it for the money. They're not just in it for the fame. They want to inspire. Yeah. So tell me about how like mainstream is how, how mainstream has impacted you and and mainstream artists have impacted you. Uh, not really in a good way, you know. <laughs> I kind of, you know, I kind of go against the mainstream, you know, and, and I, I'm, I'm down with the independent artists on the streets, like <laughs> the people that don't have that buzz, that exposure off of one hit, you know, these guys are garbage in the game, you know, mm. they don't keep it real, like, mm. guys are garbage, I don't want to hear none of it, like, you know. So. You got to keep it real, and I think that um, a lot of mainstream, and a lot of mainstream artists, 
not trying to bash them or anything, but they don't have the soul in it like you guys do, like the underground nah, artists just, that are grinding every day. Exactly. They just got money behind them. You mm -hmm. know, they just got, they had somebody, they got lucky enough for an investor to invest. Now, what would and happen what if happened. you became mainstream? I'm Enlighten me. What would happen? What would if I became mainstream, I'm going to have my mainstream be at headquarters in the middle of the, where I started. Yeah, so, so that's everybody cool. can get on. You I know? love that. That's I'm awesome. not going to be corporate where you can't find me. I'm going to be right here. Like That's right. You know? And, and give people everybody an a shot. Yeah. That's awesome. Provide a platform for every artist. You know? Now, I mean, what do you, what, about. so now let's, let's take it back. What do you feel like are your next plans with your movement and Rap Lines Matter? Do you want to become big? Do you want to keep it local? Uh, yeah, yeah. I definitely want to become big, but I want to be part of an independent label, which means, you know, not no big, huge mainstream. I don't care about Interscope, like where, I, where I'm trying to sign my life away. I'm not signing my life away. Yeah. I want to be independent, but still have some backing. You know what I'm saying? Still have some backing. So you're trying somebody. to get signed? Yeah, pretty much. You know, I'm so you guys have, are watching. He's trying to get signed. I'm trying to have that one person. Like, look, man, anybody watching, any investors, I got I got a plan. I got a master plan. And what, All I need is a little backing. That's it. So tell me, what makes you different from every other artist? Uh, Just experience. You know, I've been doing it for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And what can you bring to their, what can you bring to them? Because they're watching right now. What can you bring to them that, you know? I know how to make money, man. <laughs> <laughs> Entrepreneur skills, that's right. <laughs> yeah, so anybody wants to make some money, get with me. That's it. Now, taking it back, what are some of the um, competitions that you were in? And tell me about that, because you said you were just you were just on a competition recently, right? Yeah, yeah. Shout out to your other artists, 2 plus 1. Uh, October 24th, Superstar Saturdays. Uh, I went in the competition. It was for $1,000. A uh, little marketing, little distribution type of deal. Online, you know, marketing, some shows. Mm -hmm. Like, I got a couple podcasts out of it, some great interviews. Uh, but I went in there. Um, everybody had a Craig Lynch shirt on, you know. That's so cool. Everybody yeah. who came in, and I sold about 90 tickets. That's awesome. So we all came through. With shirts on. We had the merch. We had everything. We had a table set up. Came through and won the show. Uh, Freeway was the judge. Yeah, that's Freeway. awesome! Congratulations. He picked me unanimously and left and left right away. Like, that's he left awesome. Right after my performance. That's so cool. I bet you were just <laughs> Honestly, like honored. Like, you were probably on cloud nine at that time, just like feeling uh, so a, excited. Yeah. It was a great. It was definitely a great, great night. It was memorable. I'll never forget it. Yeah, and great, when, raising and that trophy, getting that money. It was that's great. right. That's the that's the end goal, right? Is yeah. to do what you love and also make money from it so you can provide for your family. That's it. Yeah, and that's that paid for Christmas right there. Oh, right? there you go. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah, right? <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and holidays to everyone. Yes, you know? and goodbye 2020. But, you know, basically <laughs> that's what I did. I, that was my Christmas and my New Year's, you know. That's it. So that's appreciate awesome. though. Shout out to Santana on that one. What are the what so what are some tricks and tips that you could give to people about selling merch and trying to get people to come out to your shows? Because I know that could be hard too. Yeah, yeah. You try to just sell the fun of it. You don't sell the performance. You don't sell. You just have the fun. Like, yo, come on, basically come and party. Yeah, there you go. Straight up. That's what okay. I tell people where I'm from. That's how we move. We, yo, what's up? You want to go party? I'm about to go on stage too, and we can romp out. You know, you know, go out there and make it make a scene. You know, that's what I'm right. In a good way though. You know? And you're saying telling people where you're from. Tell me about like that community and how that's influenced. You. I'm the only rapper in Pine Hill, and if you, there's another one, please <laughs> let me know. But it's a They'll very small. They'll probably come out soon, Raj. Right? It's, it's a very small town, and uh, everybody knows me for, for rapping out there. You know, I was the guy at the parties. So did you? So you were you going to parties, parties and and rapping like? So oh, you yeah. were going to the parties and just saying, "Hey, I'm a rapper." Would you just like oh, yeah. come out with it, just spitting bars? All the time, uh, especially in school. It all started from school. You know, we used to have like little meetings and stuff in the auditorium and in, uh, in the gym, art mm -hmm. art shows. And I'm starting to cipher in the art show. <laughs> lunch ta cool. lunch tables, you know. Uh, yeah. And then it came into that. It came at house parties where I'm the guy starting the show rapping, and That's everybody so cool. else starts rapping. But I kept with it. That's the thing with me. Everybody knows the last twenty years. I kept with it. So Every you were you were you were a local celebrity. People yeah. know you. Oh yeah. Everybody else quit. So <laughs> what is something? Let's let's make this fun. What is something that people don't know about you? A little fun fact. Uh, fun fact. I mean, hey, Libra gang. I'm a Libra. <laughs> Horoscopes. Uh, yay! Know, good hey, vibes. Good Libra, vibes. Libra means good vibes. You yes. Know, yes. Uh. I mean, if a lot of people don't follow me, I'm a father. I'm a new father. You know what I mean? I love my family, and I'm going in. And I just dropped an album called Man of the House Project. Where can people find it? If you don't, if you don't it? know that, all platforms, everywhere. Amazon, Google, 
iTunes, at, you know, a whole nine. And your social media? What's Craig Lynch underscore 100 Instagram. Follow me. Follow me. Let me take you places. Yes. And what is one thing, one word of advice you could give to artists out there who are watching that want to do what you're doing? Be original and uh, don't just write no uh, no regular raps. Like don't just settle for don't settle for less in your lines. You know, let me yeah. hear some. Are you, know? you ready? Are you ready to perform? We're ready to hear you. We're ready oh, to hear ready? you spit yeah. some bars. Yeah, I'm ready. I mean, yes? let me just shout out CraigLynchRaps.com coming. RapLinesMatter.com coming. The Man of the House Project, all platforms. All right. We just dropped the video, Stomp, Craig Lynch Stomp on the, on the YouTube. Mm -hmm. And we got 24 coming out. Shout out to my man Phantom. He's on the 24. He came here with me. I appreciate you guys having me. Let's get it. Yes, put your hands together for Craig Lynch. Yeah. Woo! Yo, what's going on, man? It's your boy Craig Lynch. Shout out to Unsung Talent. I'm here. Hero Rap, Rap Lines Matter. Check out the website, CraigLynch.com. Craig Lynch on everything. The Man of the House Project on all platforms. But this is on my new EP called Mask Off Freedom. This joint's called Karma. Let's get into it, man. Good and bad karma. Comes back every day. Yeah. Good karma, bad karma. Yeah. I got a little story. I need y'all to pay attention, man. Karma. Look. Meet Fred. Whole life was going off the edge Till he sat and paid attention what God said Homeless but he still made moves on the street Not only gave me the shirt off his back But the shoes off his feet Good news from the pride and devotion All of a sudden he got a job with the promotion In the first week Karma came into play for Fred He finally got a spot to place his head Embraced the dead at the peak of dawn And realized he was right about being wrong Good deeds is something he should need He understood greed And would read about the backstabbers who could bleed At God's speed it'll lead to a blessed life He passed with flying colors Ain't even the test type Now everything is just right He on the roll with the honor Something like good karma Got nothing left to say so I pray and think about it every day Good karma, bad karma Either way it comes around Either way it comes around I got nothing left to say So I pray and think about it every day Good karma, bad karma Either way it comes around Yo, look Meet Nicole, she always had an issue reaching goals Left the child in the freezing cold, far from a decent soul She even stole a bond money, it's beyond funny We laughing at it, bad karma ain't a laughing matter That ain't even half the disaster She took the bread and put it on the best friend's head No morals, no remorse, hitman put it in and got down busy And then Nicole got out of town quickly And screamed if I go down, I'm taking everybody down with me the same money from a daughter's bond Just wanna make death call upon This type of process is always wrong It's always drawn Nicole was off of one And now she a fugitive on the run And if that hit man catch it and she done Man they gon' tell him if they saw her Something like bad karma Got nothing left to say So I pray and think about it every day Good karma, bad karma Either way it comes around Either way it comes around, I got nothing left to say So I pray and think about it every day Good karma, bad karma Either way it comes around Yo, look Still on the run, you would've thought that she'd've quit now Nicole just need to sit down Fiending for food, water and rest Call and collect, but she don't wanna hear that click sound Bad karma in effect, it isn't good but karma's got Fred living good in the woods where he reminisced Think about sleeping in the dirt with no tent to pitch He got himself out the deficit for the negatives He's seen the cold from a, from a short distance Fred's seen a poor living, it's about to be more given He always knew karma came around So this is his chance to make the town Embrace him with amazing sound Almost home, seen the hitman at the light now Nicole scared for a life Close range was a nigga to pull it Good and bad karma made Fred catch a bullet I got nothing left to say So I pray and think about it every day Good karma, bad karma Either way it comes around Either way it comes around I got nothing left to say So I pray and think about it every day Good karma, bad karma Either way it comes around Either way it comes around Karma.
Yeah. Woo! Craig Lynch on platforms, man. Unsung talent. We out here. Thank you so much, Craig. You just Thank killed you. that. I got nothing left to say. <laughs> nothing, right? Nothing. Oh, but I'm just drop the mic, walking away. Thank you so much for being on here. Jersey yeah. represent. Thank you guys. Until next time, unsung talent. Yeah.